Walking, taxis, thumbing lifts, airplanes and other forms of transport are what over 50 teams of DCU students will be searching for this Thursday and Friday. But there's only one problem. They can't pay for any of it. DCU's Beg, Borrow, Steal is taking place this year on the 2nd and 3rd of February. Each team must try and get to Rome by 5pm on Friday, with the first team there being crowned the winners. However, this year was the first year that Beg, Borrow, Steal went from being a society-ran event to an SU-ran event. Yeah, so Beg, Borrow, Steal was, it was an event that I set up. It was always my concept and something that I wanted to grow and, and see where we could go with it. Obviously, in the first year, we started off going to Cork. Um, but I always had the idea and vision of it going across across Europe um, and I just wanted to take that with me and next year we'll see where we go as well it's 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 a it's a transition that will be going on for a few years um, but I've, I've given a lot to ESOC over the years um, many events that they run have come from me so it's yeah so that's why it's kind of my personal thing Big Bar Steel is um, but Big Bar Steel or sorry ESOC will survive without it. They should they should be able to anyway. Um, they've, they've a lot of other events on throughout the year, so they should be able to keep themselves occupied. Many of the students taking part have similar emotions about how the task will go. Probably scared about getting no money. Where like yeah. people might just not give us money. They've been stuck in an airport, not been able to get out of it. The checkpoints aren't at the airport. So it's like it's to go to Big Ben, not to London. So it's to get from the airport to Big Ben back to the airport, the train station, whatever, to get on, like, yeah. well, it's That's collecting money. Tough, yeah, getting yeah. The money like, yeah. Yeah. Then obviously just the whole trail of it's going to be class. Yeah. Getting stranded somewhere with nothing, our batteries running dead, having no money, having nowhere to go, only God to help us. <laughs> the next couple of hours I'm most scared of not actually making it, or not like getting anyone to help us out, but the thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that we don't know where we're going, and we don't know what's going to happen, like I could end up anywhere, you know, so I'm excited. I had a fairly dodgy breakfast, so I'm a bit scared if I'm on a long journey without a bathroom, I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, <laughs> I'm just buzzing to get there early. I hope we get there. But. Over 50 teams of two will leave DCU's new bar this morning in the hopes of being in Rome tomorrow evening. Each team has raised at least €250 Euro for November, and it has been DCU's most successful year with the Beg Borrow Steel. The people with the most amount of money will get a 15, 10 or 5 minute head start depending on how much they raised. Um, well, we had about 1,600 raised when we got to Head Start, but now we have over 2,000 raised. So we're continuing as we go along. Like even today, like we know people are going to like donate more money. So as we go along, there's going to be more donations. Hopefully, as the fundraiser continues. As they were saying, as Dylan was saying, like it's how we use the five minutes. So if we use it wisely, then hopefully it'll benefit us then in the long run. And it'll just like leave less panic than 200 people scrambling off at the same time. You know, like it'll be easy to get out there quicker and on our own. <laughs> Emily Crowley, DCTV News.